Good day everyone, this is Hamid Khan here from Food Mahir and Gardening Ideas and I just thought to show you a quick uh, video and reminder on that this is autumn, almost we crossed mid of autumn here, winter is about to start in a month or so. So this is the best time now to start fertilizing plants because in winter plants they go in a sleep more. Dosing them with fertilizer is certainly not a good idea during the winter season. This is to start with, this is black ionium. I have uploaded a video some time ago on this. I'll send a link in the description box as well if you want to have a look again. So I have just uh, dosed it with some uh, light liquid fertilizer. This one is um, Madagascar Jasmine. I've just recently uploaded a video for my three types of jasmine and how to cover your fences with uh, climbers. So I have dosed it and you can see some waxy white flowers also um, showing up here. Uh, I have dosed it with some fertilizer as well to keep it healthy. This is a very newly planted Maya dwarf lime. It's gonna take some time, but I have dosed it with some fertilizer as well. This one is kaffir lime, again, very newly planted. So I have uh, thought this is the right time to dose it a bit. I have just to clean all the rubbish around. It's not getting enough time for that. Mint is tough, so mint is not a problem at all. It doesn't require a lot of uh, fertilizer. I have uh, uploaded a video on mint and I'll also share the link in the description box for how to take care of the mint. These are like some green chilies as well. This one is Pandoria jasminoides, it's Bower of Beauty. Again, I have uh, uh, uploaded the video uh, of the Clever Climbers just recently, a few weeks ago, uh, but I have also dosed it with some fertilizer. This one is a star jasmine. Again, it's going and I'm not really getting enough time to trail it properly on the sides. But I have dosed it with some fertilizer as well. So my green chilies are going well. Um, that's not a problem. It doesn't require a lot of fertilizer. Uh, this is my pink guava. It is going very well. I have fertilized it a bit as well. And I have also repotted it in a bigger pot. As you can see, it's a very nice pot, big pot and uh, i'll just keep it in a pot for a while because i just was not getting enough time to prepare the soil for the ground uh, but it is going very well so this one is croton crotons are i have also uploaded a video about crotons and how i repotted the croton a while ago uh, it likes a bit sunny shaded warm position basically i would say a shaded warm position so i have fertilized this as well i have my ginger which is also growing very well probably end of autumn or beginning of winter i will be harvesting and sharing with you the video so here are some more plants swiss cheese indoor plant this one is really a neglected plant it's a mosquito fighter plant that i bought very tiny it gives and releases a very aromatic oil in humid uh, warmer uh, temperatures it's a very unique indoor outdoor plant with a strong citrinella fragrance so it's basically citrusum which uh, gives the smell i think it's an award-winning plant it really helps me when i put it close to my fresco in um, deterring the uh, mosquitoes it's a mosquito fighter plant with special citrusum uh, if, as you can see it's really very neglected uh, i need to work on this these are black ionium that were propagated from cuttings also i've uploaded a video on the propagation of ionium some time ago so these are the same ones here are more ionium plants as a, a result of propagation of the cuttings some time ago and they have established quite well i have to report them and bunch them together uh, with some other succulents and this is my indoor shaded parlor palm which is camidori elegans and it's no doubt one of the most elegant palms very graceful lush superb looking plant for indoors and for patio i have uh, fertilized it as well it does require uh, regular watering every week in summer, a couple of weeks in winter. 
This is a bonsai plant. I have to repot it and you can see its radial roots are coming up and definitely it needs a repotting and some work. This is dwarf lime, the third type I have. I've shown you Meyer cafe lime. This is, I believe, is Tahiti. It needs a season or two or at least one season before it's established, but I have fertilized it as well. This one is one of my favorite uh, pots that uh, uh, has a bunch and mix of uh, various succulents, uh, elephant bush and uh, ionians and some other, as you can see. And uh, this is, this gives a very good feature in the front yard. So uh, I've also given a bit of a fertilizer, but it doesn't need very high dose. They're very forgiving plants. This is a magical lemon lime nandina, and it's a must for any garden. The best part of it, it it's a very low maintenance and forgiving plant. It gives a very stunning evergreen, lush lime green foliage year round. Since the new foliage creates an explosion of lemon tone radiating out of the uh, center, creates an explosion of lemon tone fading to lime green as they grow. But the compact habit of this plant means that it doesn't require really pruning to maintain and it has a very natural shape. These are my Black Knight Dracaena with reddish tone. Uh, I have uh, also dosed it with some fertilizer before the winter. It's next to it, I have my poinsettia, which is, uh, uh, I pruned it completely at the pruning time. And now you can see it's just filled with all the fresh green leaves and um, in winter they're all gonna turn red these are low maintenance agapenthus twister this is electric pink cordyline they generate multiple shoots uh, to form a cluster or a clump of colored hot pink and purple you can see the stripes And this is also one of my favorite Ignite low maintenance plants. Still, I have fertilized it with an um, organic liquid fertilizer. So here's the another view. Roses, which are scented roses. This is a five-star scented rose, uh, Oklahoma hybrid tea with long pointed buds and that opens to a large double dark red blooms it looks like a black rose sometimes uh, so i have pruned it uh, a month ago and i have fertilized it now it's always good to prune it in winter again but i have pruned it a month ago as well because it's going out of control this one is cardinal hybrid tea uh, very rich and velvety cardinal red long segmented blooms again i fertilized it well over here it's a two star rated scented it needs and require full sun as well this one is fragrant plum hybrid tea pinkish color very strong and bushy and very sweetly scented flowers i have pruned it a month ago lightly uh, probably in winter these needs uh, more pruning this is my golden palm uh, and going very well as well this is iceberg flowers mm -hmm. 